Hey guys, Bradley back again with another Zeal Cigar Review video. Today we're talking about a special cigar hack that I have for all you guys out there that actually use cool doors like this brand new one I have right here. All next on the Zeal Cigar Review. Well, hey guys, this new humidor that I have right next to me was sent to me by a company called EcoJoy. And they have, they're new to the market and everything else like that, as far as cool doors are concerned, but they have a long history of dehumidification, but this is the first one I think they have for the humidification in the cigar game. So it's a really cool humidor, and I wanna show you some of the features really quick, so watch this video. As you can see on that video, it is refrigerated, obviously, so your cigars won't get too hot. It is air circulated. It's got a nice fan at the very back. It's got three cedar shells with like a cedar drawer at the very bottom with an integrated analog hydrometer. An integrated, with an integrated analog hydrometer. It took me forever to say that. It also has a light at the very top that shows down on your cigar so you can display them very, very nice. And it's got double paned glass right here to keep your cigars safe from UV rays. UV rays actually can really damage cigars, so you wanna keep those away from the UV rays. So if you have this by a window, it's definitely not gonna get through this glass because your cigars are fully protected behind double pane UV safe glass. It also comes with something else that I wanna talk about here in a second. I got some other videos to put in here that'll show you a little bit of a hack that I wanna give you guys that have cool doors today. So typically when you see the bottom shelf and a humidor is shipped to you, it actually has a little bitty dish just like this without my beard hair falling into it or the snow that comes off my beard. This little dish is actually for water, distilled water or water beads. A lot of you guys use water beads. I'm gonna give you a little hack on the water beads here in just a second because this little dish is very important for this humidor. And most of the time you can set it right here to the corner or in the back and put your smaller cigars up here. This can hold up to 300 items in it, 300 cigars in it. I'm not sure what you know, size of the cigar is gonna be if you're more of a Gordo fan, maybe it's more like 200 or like 275, 250. But if you're a Robusto fan, you could definitely fit probably 300 Robustos in here. It's a very, very big humidor, bigger than a lot of the smaller ones. Uh, but I, I really like the fact that it is cool. The fan works very well. I've had it on here for now about an hour and it works perfectly. If you see this little bitty analog humidor, a lot of you guys don't trust analog humidors, but it also has some of you guys don't trust analog humidors, which I would say once they're calibrated, and it looks like this has been pre-calibrated, uh, they are very reliable. But just in case, it has a digital one on the outside that actually reads the humidity on the inside. So that's the best of both worlds. So this little dish is very important. I'm gonna show you a little hack here in a sec. By the way, all these drawers actually come out so that you can season them yourself. And what I mean season them is what you wanna do before you ever put any cigars in here, is some guys prefer washing this out with just distilled water where you go through the plastic and wash it out. I don't think it's necessary, but some guys do. I didn't do that for mine. I have two of these things, not this exact one, but two very much like it. I didn't wipe down the plastic or anything like that because it doesn't really smell like plastic. It smells like cedar. So if you're going to season these, what you want to do is go get a brand new sponge and get a gallon of distilled water. Put that distilled water in a bowl, take the sponge, soak it up, wring it out, and then wipe down every single one of these drawers. That's one of the first things that you wanna do when you get a cool door. Then when you do that, you wanna put just the drawers by themselves. Then when you do that, you wanna put the drawers by themselves back into the humidor and you wanna seal it by shutting it for 24 hours. By that time, the wood should have absorbed the rest of the moisture on there and you should be able to tell that it's 70% humidified in there. If not, it might be 65 or 62. The next part is very, very important for you. What you wanna do is go to Amazon or go to any place that you can get water beads or Orbeez. You've heard of Orbeez. They're little colorful things. They have like Orbeez guns you can shoot stuff with now. It's all kind of the same stuff. And it's the same stuff that you might see in uh, any of those little humidor humidification devices that ha you shake and you hear those little beads going around. They're just smaller water beads. What you do is you take 
maybe a little dish or the dish that comes with this. And you probably want to put in, line the bottom of the dish, okay? Maybe less than an inch, if you would, with those water beads. Then fill the whole dish up with distilled water. Put the dish in there overnight. What's going to happen is all the water beads are going to swell and they're going to take up that moisture. Then put it back in there and they should release enough humidity and absorb enough humidity that it should be exactly about 70% in there for you. And no, you don't need Bovita packs. No, you don't need to put Bovita packs in here or anything like that. That's really all you have to do. And one of those things, a 5,000 or 50,000 little water beads or Orbeez, that will last you for a lifetime on this humidor. It really will. I bought a little pack off Amazon for my personal humidors at home. It has lasted me for about five years. And I'm still, I still got a bunch of it left, left in there. So with that said, make sure you get that from Amazon. I'll put a link below the ones I, that I use and get distilled water only. Those water beads, distilled water in a dish like this, or if you have a dish at home, you can put a dish in there yourself. If it doesn't come with one, that'll solve your humidity problems. And then you just gotta play with putting your cigars in there to where you want the optimum humidity. You can put a digital hydrometer here if you, if you don't want the analog one, but I like the analog one. Just by nature, it's a little more classy. And it also tells you digitally up top what it's going to be. Well guys, do you have a cooler door at home? Drop a comment below and tell me what kind of cooler door you have. If you don't have a cooler door at home and you want one, this is the one that you definitely, definitely want. By nature of the fact that it's a great deal and I'm gonna put a discount code in the description down below that you can find this item on Amazon at, as well as the water beads and everything. So you can get them all at the same time. So when you get this from Amazon, your water beads should get there and you'll be good to go right away to be storing and aging your cigars the way that you should. Guys, I'm Bradley with the Zill Cigar Review, and this has been a review of the EcoJoy brand new Coolador for your cigar game. So with that said, guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what, what Coolador you have at home. If you don't have this, check the link below in the description, and I'll see you next time on the Zill Cigar Review. With that said, I'm out of here like last year. Peace.